Portraits that tell a story. Grown-up people have grown-up stories to tell. It's a challenge and a joy to paint portraits of them that show their interests, their hobbies, their careers, and their dreams. Formal portraits that celebrate careers. Group portraits that tell stories about the friends you spend your time with. Portraits for fun. That's what life's all about. Families should be remembered. Some pets really have good stories to tell. There are a lot of interesting stories involved with helping other people tell their interesting stories by painting their portraits. Let's start with Captain Carpenter's painting. Right out of college, I served my country in the U.S. Army Exhibit Unit out of the Pentagon as their mural painter. The Army Brass wanted a painting illustrating Captain Carpenter's action in the Vietnam War. A few years before his deployment to the war, he was an All-American football player at West Point. He had just received the Silver Star, and they were anticipating a Medal of Honor ceremony. He, however, did not receive the honor, but the painting did make a few magazine covers. The President Truman portrait had several interesting developments. A couple of these stories are quite long, but I do have time to share a shorter one about the early life of the painting. The portrait was commissioned by the U.S. Air Force Reserve in 1976 for the Truman Library to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the President separating the Air Force from the Army. A lot of preparation went into the Truman portrait. I read two books, maybe three, about his life. In the Truman Library, I searched the archives trying to get the right slant on the direction for the portrait. I found a blurry snapshot of him that was probably taken by an admiring tourist. It showed him, after his presidency, stepping off the porch at his home in Independence, Missouri. The sun was just rising behind him. That's how I would depict him, starting out on his morning walk the way many people here in his hometown remember him. Perhaps I should also show him in his Army Reserve Colonel's uniform and, of course, as he appeared as President of the United States. The name of the painting would be Citizen, Statesman, Soldier. It really helps to start a portrait commission with a detailed sketch. That way you and the person being painted can determine if you were on the same page. The sketch for the painting of Don Levine, a famous writer, shows him standing as a young journalist. The face in the back shows him in middle age and the foreground face is how he looked at his 90th birthday party. Now's the time to talk about the family. Uh, this painting of a family reunion picnic with the two descendants of the grandparents on either side, portraits of the deceased grandparents looking down on them from their likeness in the trees. Now let's look at some fun, fun portraits. Linda was really into elaborate costume parties, and she wanted to remember them with paintings. Debbie also looked at the brighter aspects of being alive. More paintings to help remember the good times. Some more remembering the good times. Joan and Judy visiting Royal Street in New Orleans. 
It was so much fun that they wanted to remember the experience with a painting for their wall in one of their nightly rentals, the New Orleans Suite. I'll explain how I go about creating custom portraits. Find good research material to work from. A good photo of Royal Street and a good photo of people having fun. A quick sketch to lay out the sizes and proportions. Run this past the client for their input and approval. I show you my painting steps in one of my other YouTube videos, How to Create Forest Impressions Paintings.